Today we're going to talk about this history of Kiko Technology. Uh, as the founder of Kiko Technology, uh, can you explain to us uh, what it means and uh, how you came about to arrive at this uh, technology and its benefits to society? Okay. My Kiko Technology project started about eight years ago. And I was experimenting with water during one of my formulations, a herbal formulation called Siberian Chaga. And uh, I noticed that different water in the formulation had different effects on the final product. And so I started using my background in aerospace engineering propulsion, which was actually cryogenic fuels using hydrogen oxygen, which is a form of water, mm -hmm. and 10 years of chemical water treatment. So combining all these experiences, I discovered that water has very unique characteristics other than chemistry. And these characteristics are related to the physics of water. So if I can change the physics of water, then the final product will be much superior. Okay, That's physics the, is a bit about science. Yes. Can you explain a little bit of the science behind this? Correct. Physics is a very hard topic for most people to understand. What is it? It is a science. And in terms of water, the Kiko technology is actually changing three components of the physics of water. What are these three? These three being reducing the surface tension of water. Number two, all water vibrates. However, if you have the Kiko technology, that water will vibrate even faster. And then number three is water has the ability to absorb an energy naturally in our environment. It comes from the sun, it's called far infrared. So a far infrared is the paramount energy. I want to explain a little bit what is far infrared. That's good, okay. Let's go back in time a little bit. Was the water characteristic 60 years different than today? The answer is yes. And these are due to environmental pollution, environmental concerns. Some people call this global warming. There is a slight degree in the temperature of the planet in the last 60 years. It's also contributed to the over usage of chemicals in our land, our soil, that eventually gets into the water. Chemicals being synthetic chemicals, including uh, agricultural products. It can also be a byproduct of acid rain. Water comes in, turns into a cloud, forms it, and if, it, if the air is polluted, polluted or the water is polluted, we do have conditions of acid rain. So our water is a mirror image of the environmental concerns we're facing over the past 60 years. So you're talking about air, water, soil pollution, plus global warming. That's right. So with this Kiko technology, how does it benefit humanity? Correct, okay. Now, with these environmental concerns, the energy, all energy in fact, is emitted from, from the sun, okay? So what is energy? Everybody knows about gamma ray, mm -hmm. x-ray, ultraviolet, uh, visible light, like the color of your shirt here. Mm -hmm. But there's also a, a, a certain type of energy, it's called far infrared energy. It's a frequency, it's a light, it's non-visible, but people don't think about What's it. What's the value of these far infrared? The far infrared is very good for our health. Mm -hmm. It's good for the health of plants, it's good for our soil, it's good for our livestock, it's good for our wildlife. It makes things grow better, stronger, last longer. And what happens over the past 60 years due to the concerns with environment is the ozone layer, the stratosphere, mm -hmm. has gone up from 20,000 feet back in the 1950s to a level of about 33 to 37,000 feet. So in the old days, 60 years ago, the far infrared would bounce from the sun through the ozone and stratosphere into the earth. Water is 70% of the Earth, correct? Right. Today, as the ozone and stratosphere goes up higher, the far infrared that's being emitted from the sun, not all of it, so less comes, comes into the Earth. A lot of it gets reflected back into space. So what we're seeing is a, is a, a, a concern, and that concern then leads us into how do I use this type of technology? Okay, what are what negative effects where you do not have far infrared affecting the earth, the plant life, the animal life, and the water. Yeah, let's look at what, what the positive effects are. Okay, okay. The positive. let's look at positive effects first, okay? We use equipment in Japan 
to verify the science behind the physics of our Kiko technology. The equipment that we use is basically called nuclear magnetic resonance, the type of testing equipment that measures items such as surface tension and the speed and the frequency of water. The second type of equipment that we use is called electronic spin spectrometers. This determines how much energy or far infrared is in our water. So what's happened over the last 60 years is, let's take a piece to the number one, the far infrared 50, 60 years ago absorbed into our water was much higher. 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 Today it's about four to ten percent. About but what? For the emission of far infrared in the water. Mm -hmm. This can be rainwater, mineral water, or drinking water, irrigation water. However, you can find natural water in the earth. Natural as in uh, underground water? Underground water, but you have to drill very, very deep. Mm -hmm. 200 meters, 300 meters, 700 meters. It's expensive to do that. You draw it up, and you can run these three physics tests on it. Mm -hmm. This water is superior to the water we use today. That's the control barometer. And this is, in Japan, this word energized water was coined about 20 years ago because this water has tremendous health benefits. Animals grow better. Plants grow bigger and stronger. Fruits taste sweeter. The plants uh, and, and vegetables last longer. They don't perish as fast. So that's the barometer. The point is, how do we find this water? Can you or, it now? Don't need to. We can use the water today and using the Kiko technology for nothing more than very good resins made from volcanic activity, molded, heated, processed. It's a proprietary know-how, as you know. And we insert these little stones into cartridges, blue cartridges. We have ones that are a little bit smaller than this. Oops, people can carry them around. Or we'll put them into stainless steel filter cartridges. And the effect is that water that it's immersed into will go from a slower moving frequency to a higher frequency. The water will absorb a higher part infrared energy, which I mentioned is very good for plants, animals, and health. And the third part is the surface tension will get lower. And surface tension is very vital, especially for plants and animals, because of the absorption rate, it absorbs much faster. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen that uh, this is an amazing product and uh, fundamental technology is far different rate. And in our next segment, we'll discuss more about its application to industry as well as to daily life. Thank you.